the back is usually I get my seat belt grip all right so one arm is over the shoulder one arm is under the arm all right so right here doesn't matter if I go right there or if I go right there okay so let's just here once you take the back something that you cannot do it you cannot cross your feet this is bad really bad if I go here I cross my feet right here Wait, wait, wait. Look, what he's gonna do. If he goes right there, look, go ahead. Oh, I move. All right, so this is on top. What he needs to do? He needs to get the other one. So now, now he's trapped. All right, because I'm not gonna be waiting for him to throw one leg. Oh, oh this is the wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna be waiting here for him to get the second one. No, if I feel that he, that's the wrong look. I'm gonna open. And then here it's not gonna happen if he gets that one here. Look, now my foot is stuck. The bottom leg is stuck. I cannot move the top, I cannot move the bottom. He's gonna lock the triangle right there, go to one side, and then arch the back, and then it's gonna make me tap. So it doesn't matter. Sometimes I get the position here. What he's gonna do? He's gonna put one leg on top and he's gonna get it. Can he do that? That's okay. He's gonna do that. So it's up to me to pay attention, all right? So you're not gonna cross, and I'm not gonna let him do that to me either, all right? So that's important, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna attack the neck, okay? So if I just go and get my grip right here, look at how low is my hand. So what I want to do is I wanna open up. So I'm gonna use the arm that is under. I'm gonna open, and then I get it. I'm gonna start with my wrist bent. My wrist is the shape of his neck right here. So once I get a grip right here, and then I can go right to this, all right? Another thing that I like to do is, look, I use my thumb. So look, sometimes I get a grip right here. Look, I use my thumb. I'm gonna twist a little the lapel, and then I get a good handle right there. Second hand by his chest, this one goes down, this one across, okay? And then you switch. So look, thumb, push, good handle, get a grip. This grip, it doesn't need to go all the way up, right here, this one going down, this one across, all right? So something that I like, I, a mistake that I see people doing is this, moving the head away. What he's gonna do, he's gonna duck under my arm and escape. So what I have to do is, I have to keep my head close to my hand right here, all the time. And then I get the submission right here. Oh, if I'm not getting, because there's something wrong. Usually it's this grip, so I go deeper, and then I get it, right there. All right, let's do that guys, one, two, three. First, what I want to do here is, I get a grip, okay? So, arm is over the shoulder, arm is under the arm, okay? I get my good grip right here. What I like to do is, I like to use my thumb, so I push right here, and then I have a good handle right there. So, sometimes, you know, I cannot even grab this, this collar right here, so I'm gonna work with the arm. But you know, to get the arm, right here behind his head is is hard if i if i get this position so what i want to do is i want to slide that out first and then i have a better leverage right here okay so if i try to do something if he decides to keep the, the arm down i'm never gonna get that deep enough so i go one and then i get my position right here this my hand is on top of my forearm you don't get a grip and then you slide that hand, cool, oh, 
Okay, so I get my grip one, move down, hand on top, and then on this one, that's okay to put my head away. The regular choke here, I wanna keep my head close to him because if I do this, he's gonna slide under. Okay, so once I get this one, all right, it's okay to put my head away because my arm is blocking the head. Okay, so let's start with this one. So I go one, cannot get a grip right here. Look, hand goes right there. Move the head away and get a choke. Go guys, one, two, three.